You guys seen with the last chick that wanted to use me just to boost her. You seen what happened to her. It's over with now. It, it, her career is over with. Let, let's use the Rwandan chick, for example, right? She, she played her part excellent. The first video I posted to her, 5,000 views per hour. 5,000 views per hour. And most chicks do that. When I, when I bring a new character on the show, they get a lot of views. The same thing happened to Crystal. The same thing happened to Jane. But if you pay attention to the views like I do, because this is my channel, so I pay attention to the views, the audience can figure out she doesn't really like Austin. Then guess what? The views go down because people actually want to see love and hip hop. They don't want to see pretending hip hop. Hi guys. So it is now very obvious that Austin is not over Kesa. I don't know if it is because he is in love with her or because he is uh, angry that she was the one to leave him, not the other way around. I think since he um, he started traveling, it's been that it's him who leaves the women. It's not the women who leave him. So I think the fact that she left him is he's still angry about that. But I don't know what it is, but he is not over it. He is obsessed with her. Uh, it's obvious he watches her videos because uh, one time someone had asked him, you know, um, she had posted a video of this Q&A video where someone asked her where what her job was and she answered um, what is like stay at a stay at home daughter so someone asked him on his live what he thought of that uh, answer and he said that was not proper answer or something which tells me that you know he watched the video and though he i mean he keeps talking about her i mean it's almost been more than a month all right since she left him but he keeps on bringing her up uh, like the live he had three or four days ago about him you know returning to latin america or something in that live they had a panel and in the panel he brought her up he brought her up unprompted it's not like you know someone you know asked him you know how what happened between you and Kesa or something he just brought her up like unprompted you need to marry her you need to do this and that and I'm, I'm even the women that are on the videos are agreeing like they don't even know me. And then me and the woman might fall out. I don't fall out with all of, them, but like we might fall out. And I'd be like, yeah, what happened to those guys that said like, oh, I've been all around the world. I was in the military. This is a good woman. You need a, you need a, you need a wife her. And then there's a video that comes out. She's getting nutted on on the face. So. <laughs> We, we need to do it. We, we need to, we need to I didn't see that one coming. As, as Americans, we still got some growing to do on how to read. Women, and we need to learn how to not uh, just say, hey, like, yeah. And, you know, of course, he um, talked about that, uh, you know, malicious false rumor that she has. Uh, sex tape with other Americans and I don't I don't even know why he keep on telling that lie and we know it's the lie for one thing um Kesa said it was a lie everything that he said about me online which by the way is completely false that was just a typical narcissistic behavior trying to make me look bad while he looked good I for another thing if it was if she had a sex tape by now we would have you know something would have leaked you know, if someone, if the, there is a sex tape that so many people have watched, have seen, but for one thing, we have not, we have not had anyone who said that they have seen it. All that we hear is, you know, someone uh, uh, heard it from someone else saying that someone else has, you know, has watched the sex tape. So we know, like by now, it's you know obvious that you know the sex tape doesn't exist. But he, you know, he talked about that and 
like he, even like he brings her, he brings her up all the time even when he did his little cooking cooking show he brought her up he always brings her up and of course whenever he brings her up it is in the negative um term and the thing is that um he doesn't mention her name he mentions almost everyone every other girl that you know I, I don't know if we can say ex because like every other girl that he used to date and he doesn't date any longer he he mentions them by name right even the in the video in the introduction video i use he mentioned everybody every girl's name he mentions crystal's name he mentions jane's name but he doesn't mention her name um i mean he kate and him i don't think they they um they separated on good terms, right? But still, he actually still mentions Kate by name, but he doesn't mention Kesa by name. And for me, that tells me that this guy still has feelings for her. I don't know if it is, you know, feeling of love or feeling of, you know, being abandoned. Like, but I don't know if he likes her and he's hurt because she left him or is because like she said he is a narcissist and he's not he is suffering from a narcissist injury by the fact that she left him before he left her but it's obvious that he has feelings because the mention of her names must be you know hurting his feeling that's why he doesn't um, mention her mention her by name one more thing i don't think even when they were together uh, the feelings were i don't think they were mutual like the level of attraction or the level of feelings between the both sides i don't think was equal i think there were more uh, attraction or feeling from his side than there were from her side uh, because she was talking about how he called her like after you know they met in rwanda then he he left for uh, kenya and she said he called her every day and she brought that up at like at the bad thing she didn't appreciate him calling her every day so he called me every day since we met here in kigali for hours on end we'd speak on the phone and i don't do that with anyone he just turned out to be something completely different from what i thought he was every day so it looks like you know even when they were together um she she didn't like him as much as he did there was more liking from his side than there were from her side so the relationship was not you know uh, an equal one a balanced one right and you know someone asked her why you know why did she contact him because it was her who first contacted him right so and she said she contacted him before because she thought he was cute and she was bored and and i don't think even from the start she just you know she just wanted to meet him she i don't think she wanted to form any kind of um, intimate uh, relationship but i think he might have but you know that is their problem right the problem now is that mm, it looks like because hold on so this is the thing i think the reason austin holman is has ramped up uh, attack against uh, black um, african girls is because one he has always hated african girls but he didn't make that public because africa was his his only place the only place he could be so but now that he thinks brazil will take him back he feels free to, you know, to make his true feelings for African, uh, for African and African girls known, which is he has a lot of disdain for African girls, and he has been making that very well known for the last two weeks. And the other thing is because he, after you know, Kesa left him, and after other African girls refused to go to his show, his views have, you know, have flopped and he is attacking african girls in the hope of creating um controversy so that the controversy can drive traffic to his uh, channel and the controversy has not been doing that for him but he continues to you know to attack the african girls mm. 
And but the third reason, and this is not something I came up with. This is something um, someone said in my comment uh, section. Uh, uh, a girl whose um, whose opinion I truly, truly value. She said that she noticed that whenever I, um, what's her name, Kesa posts a video, Aston goes on on live or on video and starts you know saying outlandish things saying you know offensive things and she's right i think the recent attack is also from hurt feelings from you know because whenever kesa is on video you know whenever she posts video i i think all the memories maybe nice memories or bad memories whatever memories that come to him uh, come to him and he gets emotional and then he takes that out on black girls uh, on african girls because after kesa posted this video i think she posted it in on like august 30th or august 31st and then aston um almost like the second the next day or so he you know he posted that you know 80 percent of the girls on you know in my uh video there i mean 80 percent of the girls in my recent uh, videos contents were below my my uh, standard or whatever and i think he probably saw her her video and he got emotional and he you know he wanted to take it out on on someone i mean he took it out on african girls but it is probably you know I mean, she might be the target of that tweet, that post, that live, um, because this guy, he cannot uh, control his emotions, right? Uh, so, it, I, I, I really truly believe now that some of the vitriol coming towards um, African girls is probably, you know, um, African the other African girls are probably like, you know, a collateral damage. I think the real target might be uh, Kesa. He might mean all the vitro, the, you know, the attack must have been meant for Kesa, but some of the attack is, you know, getting to the other African girls. And his feeling for Kesa being the cause of some of the attack on African girls kind of explains the erratic nature of his attack, right? Because one day he will be like Kenyan girls are the best you know he would be on twitter defending them when people are saying you know Kenyan girls love well, only will have white women he will be like no 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 you are you know you, you don't even know Kenyan girls they don't they're not like that but the next day he will go on you know on on live and be like Kenyan girls are not loyal they you know they they are they don't like their blackness they bleach they do this they're ugly they and so it's like you know it's it's almost like a ro roller coaster right and maybe the erratic nature of the attack uh, might be modulated by his feeling right i still believe that the reason he attacks black girls black african girls black girls is because he hates black women um and um because also you know like i said because he's trying to drive uh, engagement to on to his um, um, content but you know the erratic nature of it you know the unpredictable nature of his attack is probably because of you know it's coming from emo like whatever emotion he feels like you know why whatever you know he thinks you know when he watches a video of a case or something that is that is probably the cause of the erratic nature of his attack uh, but yeah this guy uh, i told i now truly believe that um, he he's not over her uh, he is still you know um is that he still likes her or he is angry that she left him like i said she left him before he, le he left her because it's obvious he would have left her sooner or later because that's what he does with every other girl uh, but um, with her he's still angry so, uh, but uh, it's obvious he is hurt by you know by kesa leaving him and he has um 
projected that hate that you know hurt to other african girls you know he is he now um, like since she left him he has turned it on african girls to be honest i actually think that this guy has never liked african girls in general um, so yeah but it looks like you know uh, her leaving him has made it even like worse uh, his disdain for african girls probably doubled uh, after she left him um, and i like yeah it is yeah it, look, i mean i'm like it's almost been a month i mean more than a month i mean she has moved on moved on it is while she has moved on you know she is you know celebrating her sister's birthday she is you know going on vacation like she's having fun i think um i don't think he like he is not important like for her to her right but she said she didn't have a relationship with him she had entanglement and um like she does she does she said he was not her boyfriend so it's obvious that you know she has moved on but this guy has not and this guy as long as he, the feelings the hurt feelings are there he is going to keep on taking it out on other african girls uh, okay so let me know what you think thank you bye bye